for years for her to resurrect. I suppose it does. It's a pity. Years won't resurrect. It's a pity. You had so much to gain from me. So much information about escaping your world and escaping into a world where your powers know no limits. Oh, please. You don't even... You barely even know where you are. How would you you can this? see into my mind. I would totally have dolls of Grom, Anna, and Nisa and play the bad guy. <laughs> so he's going to get a glimpse. A short three-minute glimpse of a table with people and papers and books. And I'll leave you to determine that. Um, I would like you to uh, describe, uh, yeah, just for three minutes, take DM's reign and describe exactly what he sees. What he will see is through Alteran's eyes standing in the back corner by a bookshelf that has books that have curious tomes covered in dust that don't seem to belong to the natural world. Around a table sit a man with a ponytail and beard, discussing with another man who is bald and has a beard, and another man who has no beard but kind of a goat stash and, and the, the hair parted off to one side, and they're all discussing characters. And it's kind of hard to make out what it is they're discussing, but they're discussing strengths and dexterities, and constitutions, and the ability to cast spells. And as the vision comes to a close, he hears, I think I'll call him Alteran. And Strahd's going to see that, and it's going to look big. Hmm. That is interesting. 